Hi, here we have a PoE camera system. We got three IP camera, and the camera is connecting to this PoE and we another camera is live. In this video, I'm going to bring back the live video from the cameras and to the router. So eventually, we can access the live video through the mobile phone. The mobile phone will connect into this router. The, mass, the distance between the network video recorder and the router is about 1,000 feet. We cannot just use the K5E or K6 Ethernet cable to connect this NVR directly to the router. It will not work. The reason is the TCP IP network is limited to about three, 328 feet. Now we are talking about 1,000 feet, about three times before we break up the TCP IP protocol. Okay, now let, first let's see what we need. We will need this PoE standard. We need two, two of these PoE standard. Also, the PoE injector and PoE spitter. I will explain why we need all these devices. First, let's just hold up the whole system and see how it works. Basically, we need PoE standard, both sides, one for each. And we need to place this PoE injector just before the PoE standard. Also, the spitter after the PoE standard. And then we connect the cable to this thing. This is the 1000 feet Ethernet cable. And let's get started. First, connect the PoE injector. And we need some punch coat. Now, just use the short punch coat to lean the LAN port to the router. So it's easy to understand. So the injector will have the, the data from the router. Next, we need another short punch coat to lean this PoE port to the first PoE standard. You see the PoE standard has the input and output. A is input, B is output. We need to flick the first one. That means the input user is supposed to face to the PoE, PoE injector, but now we need to flick. That's very important. The tricky thing, otherwise it will not work. Let's just connect the PoE port to the output of the first PoE standard. All right, now let's move to the long run cable. This is 1,000 feet continue run. That would be it. Let's move to the second PoE extender. This one doesn't need to flick, so the input will be stay input. So we will connect to the another cap terminal cable input. Now the output will need to connect to our PoE speaker. This is PoE speaker. Connect in, you can see the indicators on. That means now the PoE system is working. We got the power for all these accessories. The last thing is use a last short punch cook to link the data port to our router, to our, to our NVR. We need to put the uplink port. OK, the setup is ready. Now let's just move to the software. This is the software now is connecting to the router. Let's just move close, see whether we can see the live video or not. Now we got them one. Let's switch to a four mode. Okay, I think we are seeing all four, all three camera. Now it's it's live. Let's just test whether it's live or not. Yes, it's live. So it's quite simple setup. We are using two PO standard, one PO injector, and one PO speeder. We hold up the 1,000 feet Ethernet cable. It's the continue round. We don't need to put anything within this cable. And now let's explain why we need this PoE injector. You see, this uh, device, it's PoE standard. It's electronic device. It needs power. And we don't want to use any external power source. So we, we want to send the power through the cable. This is the PoE injector. We send inject the power to this Ethernet cable. So both these two devices will get the power. But you may wonder why we need this PoE speaker. Inventory, the NVR only need data, right? Doesn't need power. It's not the IP camera. So why we need this PoE speaker? The reason is because in the standard PoE system, there always has power handshaking. Before this PoE injector inject power to this cook, it need to make sure your last, the final device is the PoE compatible device, like the IP camera access point. If we just remove this one. The pure injector will see there's no power device. I mean, there not no, no any other device will require the power, so you refuse to send the power. So the pure speeder just help to complete the power handshaking. Also say power negotiation in the standard pure system. Okay, now that will be all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.